Hello guys, welcome to Belly Drum Cup 2, round number 3. We have Killer Scorp 942 against Update VEC for this round 3, both at 1-1. One, one. They play, uh, they play faster, I mean they play before me, so we are, uh, wait, we are going to have a quick review. First, Killer Scorp has Spectre, Whimsicott, Urshifu, Tapu Lele, Hitran, and Glastrier. While Upgrade VGC has Glastrier, Urshifu, Zapdos, Grimmsnarl, uh, Among Us, and P2. Okay, let's go. Grimmsnarl and P2, Lele and Whimsicott. I think it's a good double dazzling gear, actually. Grimmsnarl use light screen. And a double dozen gleam. Max Health Storm chaos the top of LA immediately. And Heat Run comes in. Max Guard reflect. Dazzling Gleam picks up the KO to the Grim Snarl. And Max Quake coming into the Heat Run. Max Guarded Heat Run. And now Dazzling Gleam. Max Flare into the Porygon 2 slot, and Max Quake, Shuka Berry potentially, and a Trick Room can be set up here. And another Max Guard into the Icy Soul Crash, KOing the Whimsicott, and now Glastrier is in plus 2. Oh, and actually, Trick, trick Room has been reset again. <laughs> and a Close Combat comes in with Heat Wave. It gets burned, try attack. Oh, and Urshifu Rapid Strike comes in. And close combat. Doesn't pick up the KO and try attack into the Urshifu. And update VGC wins game number one. So now we are going to game number two. Okay, so I don't really understand the... Refresh trick room there, but I guess it worked. Uh. So yeah, it looks really hard for Killer Scorp against this team, especially in a trick room mode. We have got Lele comes in again with Grimstone last year. No changes in this one. Double Dazzling is kind of useless because it can just set up light screen here, which is really, really good. Unless the Urshifu is banded and the Whimsicott can helping hand. I don't think there is any way. Light screen comes in, Moonblast actually picking up the KO into the Grimmsnarl. And Hellstorm does not pick up the KO to the Urshifu. But then Urshifu here comes in. Both are water. Oh, sorry. I thought both are water types. And yeah, I think it comes down to the Urshifu Spita here. Glastrier looks really, really strong and can uh, max Hellstorm. Whimsicott comes in, actually protect. Moonblast, Hellstorm into the Lele. Urshifu. And Glastrier. Sorry, Glastrier and Whimsicott is left. This looks pretty bad for Killer Scorp, but Dazzling Gleam does not pick up the KO at all. Close combat deals so much damage to the 
Glastrier and what will Glastrier do? Max knuckling into the Urshifu. It may be a, may or may not be a speed tie, but the Glastrier is now is now no longer Dynamax, and the Urshifu actually has the potential to KO the Glastrier here. Close combat picks up the KO and try attack. Max Quake comes in to raise the special defense. Recover comes in. Max Knuckle coming in. Picks up the KO. And we are again going to game number three. Despite the strong start by update, VGC Killer Scorp is able to pick up the pace and won it. A great adaptation, switching out the hit run. So, let's see what it can do in the game number 3 here. I think for update, Porygon 2, Glastria is not a bad lead, especially if he leads Lele and Whimsicott, I don't think it can KO. The P2, unless Killer Scope leads Urshifu and possibly Whimsicott ha having a helping hand. Without that, I don't see it happening. Yeah, early Dynamax by update VGC. Proved to be a little crucial in the end game just now. They are still thinking on what to do. And it's, it's important to note that it's important to note that um, Moonblast picks up the KO into the Grimmsnarl there. I think that is a good info to know by update VC. Lele comes in, Whimsicott comes in, Zapdos comes in, and Among Us. Ooh. So, Update VGC decided to change the mode to a faster mode with Among Us. Um, Uh, 
Maybe he wants to turn one Dynamax Airstream. Actually, a psychic at trick room coming in with a hit wave from the Zapdos. Making this the Among Us fastest on the field, sparring the Tapu Lele and Thunderbolts the Whimsicott. Grass Jersey switch in, it may be a speed tie. Porygon the 2 is switch in. Max Hellstorm picks up the KO to the Among Us. That may be a speed tie right there. A crucial speed tie. An attack is coming out. Grimstone can set up Reflect here. But what can it do afterwards? P2 is Dynamaxed. Real flag, still spike, still picks up the KO with the plus one attack. Max Phantasm actually coming in to reduce the defense. But then Zapdos is left in the field here. Can Zapdos survive a plus two Max Hellstorm even in protect? Could be the answer for this match. I think Pitu needs to max strike. Oh, actually, never mind that. As Max Knuckle comes in, Max Strike does not pick up the Urshifu, and Close Combat does not pick up the KO to the Porygon 2. And Dynamax turn has ended. <sighs> a hit wave from a Zapdos would be so good here. As and uh, for the Urshifu, maybe Sucker Punch. I think Killer Scorp is in the better position here, as it is in plus one attack. Actually, he doesn't choose the Sucker Punch, and Porygon 2 just attacks Max Phantasm coming in. And Icy Soul Crash makes the Glacier plus three. Burn comes in, but it's all she wrote, and Killer Scorp is able to pick up the KO into the P2 and wins the round three match.